Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello and welcome back to How to Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. And I'm using a, a new kind of paper today. This is a handmade £140 rough, 100% um, cotton rag. So we'll just have to see how we go with it. I've got the board laying flat. This is a mixture of Naples yellow and cadmium orange. And I just want to put this in here, bring it right over the, um, the giraffe, your land. Bring it into the water, bring some down here. Then into that, this is Naples yellow and some permanent rose. Just put a little bit of that in here. And this is cobalt blue with some permanent rose as well. Let's merge all the colours together. We want some down the bottom here as well. That's the first initial washes on. And then I just want to run through that purple through here. Oh, mauve. Just let all this mix. Just a touch of cobalt blue there. And maybe just a little in the top. I think we have to leave all this just to uh, dry a little bit so the shine goes off the paper and then we'll have a look at it when we come back. Welcome back, it's dried off a little bit and this is a mixture of ultramarine blue with some permanent rose and with some burnt umber added and I'm just going to add a couple of bushes in round here. Like I say, this is a, a new paper, it's a 100% cotton rag, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to behave. So this is a new one for me. Just take your brush and just pat it in. Just make some interesting shapes. And then with an even stronger mix of the same colour, with a little bit of sepia added to this, can just touch the underneath of some of this so this is French ultramarine permanent rose with sepia added just to darken it to get a second layer in we might just add a couple of drops of this into where the water is because we want to uh, Put some grasses down on this. Touch of the darker mixture in as well. Especially towards the edge. <coughs> it helps keep your eye into the picture. Just fill some in around where the uh, giraffe's legs are. Like I say, this will be new to me. And then we'll let this dry off a moment or two as well. Now that the uh, background bushes have dried off a little bit, uh, the paper is still relatively damp with the same mixture of the French Ultramarine, sepia and a little touch of permanent rolls. Let's just put some twigs and sticks in to these back bushes and with the paper still being slightly damp, you'll get the sense that the tree trunks and twigs will fuzz slightly which is what I want them to do I don't really want too much of a hard edge through these at the moment just creating some interesting tree trunks and twigs pull them into the skyline as well this, uh, will help to give your background more interest darkening it up along the bottom <clears throat> where it would be darker in the undergrowth once again just pulling sticks and twigs out <clears throat> sticks and twigs out sorry
constantly reloading the brush then with the original mixture or the weaker mixture of the um, French Ultramarine Permanent Rose and Burnt Umber the other mixture was the same but I added some sepia to it just to make it darker and we'll bring this just around here forgive my arm pull it in to form the bank let's give the bank a little bit of a raggedy edge we're not really looking for any form of definition taking some of the thicker mixture run that into it as well the darker mixture keep this nice and dark maybe just add a little bit more of the dark down here while the paper is still damp but I don't want it to spread too far I want to still want to see some darks and some lights down here and then we need to let this dry off yet again just a little further like I said it's a new paper to me so I'm not quite sure how it's going to behave just checking the papers to see if it's dry enough to take painting in your giraffe and I think it is so with a very strong mix of the French Ultramarine Permanent Rose and Sepia we'll just paint the outline of your giraffe in just fill the shape in and taking a damp brush and just along the, the edges here just allow that to fuzz just run a damp brush down the edge then also with the original first mixture which is just a, a lighter colour just add this down here then with some of the original thicker colour you can allow that to creep up pull some into the legs we need a little bit of a reflection so with some water just roughly bring out just a shape really nothing distinguishable and just drop this in some stronger colour at the bottom Take a damp brush once again and just fuzz the edges out slightly. And also taking some clean water, bring some along here. adding some of the lighter mixture for the bank reflections the lighter colour in first water once again just catch the, chop, the tops of the uh, original colour just help it to uh, decide to move in the direction that you want it to go the board is laying flat you can put it at an angle if you wish to but I'm just this is the stronger mixture just drop this in at the right at the bottom I'm trying to leave a little gap in between the bank and the reflections and I'm just going to keep encouraging it to to flow and I always say it's very important sometimes doing wet into wet your, what your drying times are in between uh, adding extra colours in or a stronger colour you do need 
some patience to create the effects that you're looking for <clears throat> and I want this to fuzz out even more so I'm just going back and pulling it out also adding some of the dark mixture in and allowing this to drift put one or two tufts of um, grass or branches it's just a little bit of extra interest okay then we're going to have to leave this just to dry off again okay welcome back this is uh, we're going to put a few ripples in now along here this is some cobalt blue and we're just going to pat this in we'll be putting grasses in as well but um, you have to wait for every little layer to dry uh, so that you don't cause anything unnecessary like run backs through rushing and this is just a little tiny flat brush and we just very gently put some in we will be putting a few other colours in as well it just creates movement in the water and then while we have that I'll just take some of the tangerine colour which is the Naples yellow and cadmium orange and hopefully this will have thickened up enough um, as a colour that you can add for ripples in here as well bringing some across the reflection of your giraffe as this will help to break it up some of the Naples yellow slightly yellower colour and cadmium orange just a tiny touch of cadmium orange added to it I think that's about all I want to put in here at the moment okay I think that's enough I think we'll leave that to dry now that your ripples have dried off um, a little bit what we can actually do is just put some grasses in and this is the weaker mixture of that purple colour just let them grow in all directions don't have them all growing the same way looking like soldiers keep flicking them up I'm just using a rigger brush and into the darker mixture add some dark ones in just helps to strengthen it up so need a few more I think it might need a few more so I'm just going to put a few more in and then once we've done this <coughs> we're going to wait for it all to really dry off and then we'll scratch some just some white ripples in on the top with a craft knife okay there's your painting um, relatively completed all you've got to do now is sign it put a mount around it and frame it I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video this is a giraffe by a water hole in the evening uh, if you wish to have a, a go at some others I've made I'll leave a link in the description box and it will give you a full list of videos that I have made um, thank you very much for watching